What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dre. Doing a quick video. <clears throat> uh, some upgrades that have been done to my Ruger LCP. Uh, a few people have made the pretty much the same video. Um, you know, Ruger came out um, and they did some upgrades to the LCP. Um, I have the Gen 1. So when the Gen 2 came out, they upgraded some things. And then they came out with a third variant, um, the custom. And uh, so I'm going to show you some of the upgrades they made um, and that I've got, you know, done to my Gen 1. Um, I did have the red trigger, um, which is basically the Sweet Pea trigger uh, installed, but they sent me the wrong one. So... I sent it back, and there's a new one on the way um, that will fit this gun. Um, gun is safety check, um, so no need to worry about that. First, I'm going to take a look at the whole grip. Um, the whole grip is really nice. It adds some beef to the grip and uh, makes it really comfortable to hold in the hand. Um, and I think it's going to absorb a lot of that recoil because um, this thing can be a little snappy now to help with that recoil also I have added this little upgrade here I don't know if you can see it the camera will focus but that is a stainless steel guide rod which is in the, the newer LCPs um, which is one of the upgrades they made in a 13 pound recoil spring. Um, that should help absorb a lot of that um, recoil that's felt um, when firing this little gun because as I said it is pretty snappy. I'm trying to do this with one hand since I'm using one hand on the camera and one hand with the, with the gun. Um, but I know just racking the slide to try and chamber around is a, a little tricky with that uh, that recoil pin in there. So it's that 13 pounds, it makes a, a big difference in the, the pull. So if you get one, just know that it's going to be a little bit of a a harder pull on the slide um, to actually uh, get this get it racked back um, so I know it's gonna absorb a lot of that recoil when you actually fire the weapon I haven't had a chance to take it to the range and check it out yet um, this whole grip like I said it you see how thick it is it's really thick um, so it adds a lot of a lot of grip helps you grab get a better purchase on the weapon and then on top of that you have the garrison grip extension to go on here as well that I, I have on one magazine and with this garrison extension um, I'm not gonna rack it so but that is those are live rounds as you can see it'll give you a full purchase on the gun when you grip it, I have huge hands, so this this gives me a, a full purchase on the gun when I'm holding it. As you can see, all three fingers are on there. So when you're shooting this, you're gonna have the maximum grip that you can possibly have on this weapon while you're gripping it, which is gonna help with recoil, which is gonna also help with uh, your accuracy. So it's gonna also help with the comfort level of shooting this weapon now as you can see I do have the laser max on here and uh, that is a nice addition as well um, Ruger does put these on their guns now um, so it's nice to have on there the only thing really missing at this point is the new trigger that they have and like I said, it is on the way, but they sent me the wrong one. I got a new one on the way. 
you can get those from several different places. Um, but like I said, this weapon is is amazing. I love it. A lot of people don't like these little pocket guns, but I actually love them. Um, this right here, these pocket holsters, I don't like these. Um, I do have a buddy named Doug Bias uh, who makes holsters. Um, he owns a little company called Bias Holsters. All of his holsters are made out of top quality, premium, heavy duty, really thick leather. Um, they're all hand cut. They're all hand stitched. Um, and they're all hand treated. Um, they're molded and everything for your weapon. His holsters are amazing. Um, so he is making one I'm going to be doing a review on. And once I get it, then I'll get that video out so y'all can check those out. Um, but also another thing that Ruger's come out with lately um, is the 7 round extended magazine now it does give you some extra real estate to hold on to um, to give you a better purchase on a weapon but it's still not as good as a garrison grip so those are some of the modifications I've made um, and you know some of the upgrades I've received uh, for my LCP a lot of people have the same upgrades um, the only thing that I'm really wanting right now I'm wanting to change out uh, the hammer spring the fire and pin spring and the trigger spring and then I also want to change the uh, frame pins and the slide pins um, to stainless steel ver uh, variants um, so that's a little bit of the stuff I've, that's been done to the gun um, there's more coming and when I get everything done then I'll address any other updates uh, or upgrades rather um, when I do the holster review um, so I'll do everything then but there you have it like I said this is my EDC I love this gun it stays in my vehicle I'm not in my vehicle right now it's in my pocket um, soon it will be tucked away in my new leather in the waistband holster coming from my buddy Doug but y'all be safe and uh, we'll talk to you soon